<laughs> I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one-on-one. -on -one. He got me thinking, which is a compliment I can give very few people. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'll get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, bam, pew, pew, spot, cow. And suddenly whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And you just keep doing it like it's nothing. Wow. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it, and by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head. But if that helps you, Strandify, and us take down Callus, by all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Upon first glance, this new power appears unstable and chaotic. But I wonder if that's based on our approach. Too much, too fast. These puka creatures are curious ones. They appear semi-organic, but Nimbus claims they're a form of artificial intelligence. A fascinating, albeit odd, being nonetheless. Their attraction to this paracausal power seems instinctual. They flow in and around it effortlessly, and very clingy. When I first realized you were from Earth, I remembered the stories. Immortal light-bearing warriors chosen by the Traveler, like figures out of myth. But what do myths care about ordinary people? I imagined warlords conquering Neomuna, gods crushing us underfoot. I was wrong. Now when I see you, I see a comrade in arms. Someone who will stand with me to defend Neomuna and its people. I see a guardian. Nimbus, want to fill us in on where we're headed? There's this place where cloud striders go. A place to be alone, meditate, pray. If the old bird's theory holds up, should be a mega source of strand there. Let's hope it's larger than the ones you've seen thus far. You can see them? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, so you've got resurrection, sweet jumps, and the ability to weave this thinning in the fabric of existence. What do I gotta kill to hear one of those ghosts? If Strand is another side of the darkness, how come we've never encountered these sources before? The old bird thinks it's like a stink cloud the veil leaves behind. I said it's a similar type of byproduct. To use a different analogy, if we are all part of this river of souls, how do we direct the river's current? I said we are the river. You don't direct anything. You just flow. Another strand source. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's begin. The Vex are swarming. Let's see how quickly you can dismantle them.
Vex have blocked the path. I guess they want this strand source for themselves. Of course. The Vex could learn much from a power originating in linked consciousness. need a breather. Now is the time to lean into using Strand, not back away from it. You can't effectively train if you don't push past your limits. Just don't burn yourself out. This is only one battle. We've got a whole war to fight. A war we cannot win without this power well in hand. Overcome your rope swing.
Those nodes are Oracle, multi-purpose access points to the Nexus. Likely, they're taking in as much strand data as they possibly can. What happens when you give them more than they can handle? This is... wow. Good. Now the truth training can begin. a wall with strength. The after effects are stacking up. I don't understand. You've got more power, more practice. Hasn't this done anything to condition you? Back in action. Hit them again. Hold nothing back.
Get up, Guardian. Now is not the time to slow down. I don't think you know what you're asking, Osiris. Guardian, listen. Don't strain for the energy. Drop the effort and just let it flow through you. but you pulled through. Still, we cannot afford any faltering when facing Callus. You should be able to wield Strand without strain. Well, we're still missing something, but what? I must think. We can discuss this more later. This attraction. Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh. Right. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Rohan, I've been pondering the Veil's paracausal effects on ghosts. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. It simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. 